Hi. So today I'm going to be reflecting on and um, responding to uh, Jeremy Dutcher's Mejinut. Um, so just to give a bit of background, I uh, will explain sort of who Jeremy Dutcher is. I first um, heard of him when his first album uh, won the um, 2019 Juno Award for Indigenous Album of the Year. So he is a classically trained tenor, composer, musicologist, performer, and activist. He's been involved in numerous um, musical projects and a lot of activism, being an indigenous man. Um, he is a Wulastuig member of the Tobik First Nation in northwest New Brunswick, northwestern New Brunswick. It is the uh, biggest reserve in New Brunswick. Um, his album, Wulastuig Lintuakonawa, won the 2018 Polaris Music Prize and the Juno Award for Indigenous Music Album of the Year at the 2019 Juno Awards. Um, at the 2019 Juno Awards, he gave uh, a speech talking about reconciliation, but was cut off as his speech sort of went over the time or something. Um, but then the Arkells uh, gave up their uh, sort of acceptance speech time to let him finish, um, which was really cool. So about the song Mejinud. So Mejinud roughly translates to uh, death chant. Uh, so the song uses a digital copy of a wax cylinder recording of an ancestor giving a speech on death and what comes after. So this wax cylinder recording would have been made more than a hundred years ago in the very early um, 1900s. He decided to use this recording uh, because not only was it the clearest of all of the ones that he has heard as he was um, sort of cataloging uh, these sort of recordings for some sort of project of his, um, but he also thought that it was very fitting because um, at the time when the recording was made, there was a lot of sort of death narratives, he calls them, about uh, First Nations people because they were sort of seen as like these mystic people who were going extinct and, you know, weren't really here and they're just sort of like something that you tell stories about. And so a lot of people still sort of believe that about Indigenous people today. And so he wanted to sort of make this song to say you know, no, we're here, uh, we've been here, we're still, we're still doing it. Um, so in an interview with Vice, Jeremy explains that the song celebrates death and the non-finality in death because the way that his culture understands death is very different to how um, mainstream sort of Western culture views death. They view it as a very non-final sort of like the beginning of a, another sort of chapter of existence, I would suppose. Um, and so it was really, it's really interesting to see how he sort of elaborates on that in the music video as well. Um, something really interesting in the music video of this song, which is what I've linked um, above on this page, um, is in the music video, he's sort of in a very sort of classical recital hall, as we have we have many of them around here at Western. Um, but it's really interesting to see this very indigenous perspective being played out in a classical recital hall because for so long, um, people of color of all um, cultures have been very excluded from classical music. Um, especially like there are composers who have gained success in from other cultures who are not white, which is wonderful. But there's very, very few indigenous perspectives included in classical music at all. That is partly because a lot of indigenous music was lost in the genocide that was committed against indigenous people um, by colonizers. Um, and also just because people who are not white are often kept out of classical music uh, due to um, like financial and racial prejudices and just stuff like that. So it's really, really interesting to see Jeremy's mixing of traditional music with classical elements because it's 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 so beautiful. It's and it's it's really lovely to hear something so different that we haven't heard much of at all. Um, and what I really, really appreciated about this song was that even without an understanding of the language you get such 
a clear and intense sense of the emotions and the sort of atmosphere from the song just because of how he sings and how expressive the sort of piano is and it's just really really beautiful the way that it sort of combines indigenous perspectives and indigenous music with you know piano and stuff like that and it's just really really gorgeous